What does the future look like for crypto exchanges? Hundreds of crypto exchanges have been started in the past 10 years, and exchanges have been the killer app of crypto, at least so far. And one reason for that is because they employ the number one revenue model for creating value, transaction-based revenue. Crypto exchanges generate billions of dollars of trading fees every year. These are wonderful businesses because they scale so well. Trading one crypto is pretty much the same as trading any other crypto, except for a little development work. So exchange revenues have grown alongside the growth in blockchain technology. The vast majority of trading today is done on exchanges, centralized exchanges in fact, which is a little strange when you think about it because one of the most celebrated aspects of crypto is the fact that it can be decentralized. But in the trade-off between convenience versus decentralization, consumers always choose convenience. And centralized exchanges are a far more convenient way to buy or sell a given quantity of crypto. So does the future look bright for crypto exchanges? I was thinking about this question the other day. What should we expect in the next two, three, or five years? A lot more new exchanges, about the same number, maybe a lot fewer. I'm gonna go with a lot fewer. Now that doesn't mean I think there will be less crypto trading. In fact, I think crypto trading volume is gonna to continue to grow. But that trading volume will be funneled through a smaller and smaller number of centralized exchanges. So what's my reasoning for this? The bar keeps getting higher for crypto exchanges. Traders want more product types like derivatives. They want more fiat deposit and withdrawal options. They want better customer service. They want deeper liquidity. And of course, they want more protection, more security for the crypto they've consigned to exchanges. The Gemini Exchange, in fact, just launched its own Bermuda-based insurance company. It now has $200 million of insurance coverage protecting crypto deposits of its customers. And let's not forget, exchanges are now subject to far more regulation, which means their costs are rising. So I believe we've hit peak exchange, the peak number of exchanges out there in the world. And in the next two or three years, I expect to see lots of zombie crypto exchanges shutting down. Every exchange not in the top 25 from a real trading volume perspective is probably at risk. And remember, almost all crypto exchanges are consignment based, meaning to use them, the exchange has to hold your crypto. And I don't like the idea of exchanges shutting down that are holding my crypto. Even if the risk of them running off with your tokens is low, there is still a high risk that their customer service levels will collapse, making it very hard to withdraw your crypto. And having gone through that very same process with the Poliniex crypto exchange, which as you probably know, shut down in the US and was sold off, experiencing that and the way their customer service just, just went to hell, made me realize if there's even an inkling of an exchange cutting back or ultimately shutting down, selling, I'd suggest withdraw your tokens and go somewhere else. So how is all this gonna shake out? In general, I think this will be good for crypto holders, this, this notion that there are fewer exchanges, they'll have better liquidity across a smaller number of them, which means also with better liquidity comes lower costs, lower costs of trading. I do hope that decentralized exchanges start to get real traction because that plays into the fully decentralized Satoshi future that I think we all want to see one day. But a lot more needs to happen for decentralized exchanges to grab a meaningful piece of crypto trading activity. If you like what you heard in this video, please hit subscribe, make a comment, and I'll talk to you next time.